Um, hey everyone, my name is Master Starman. Um, I was actually just doing some off-screen training, and when I came back into Rustboro to heal, um, this guy stopped me and asked me to come to the Devon Corporation's third floor. So, yeah, so, um, thank you, I guess, for asking me that. I completely forgot this was even in the game, but... I'm Mr. Stone, the president of Devon Corporation. I just got word about you. You saved our staff not just once, but twice. I have a favor to ask of an amazing person like you. I understand that you're delivering a pa package to Slaveport's shipyard. Well, on the way, could you stop off in Duford Town? I was hoping that you'd deliver a letter to Stephen in Duford. Okay then, sure. Now, you should know that I'm a great president, so... Never be so cheap to ask a favor and nothing in return. That's why I want you to have this. And it gives us the Poke Nav. That's a nice Pokemon Navigator, or Poke Nav for short. It's an indispensable tool for any trainer on his adventure. Map a home region, check locations, and slip and do for it easily. Uh, says something about the criminal Smegma and Aqua. I believe he'll be making trouble far and wide. I think it'd be best if you rest it up before you go on your way. Oh, what? He actually heals you! Thank God! That's one thing I kind of needed. Um, nothing really happened to my levels, although, I actually caught an Abra and a Skitty off camera. Both are really rare or difficult to catch Pokemon on that route. The Abra I just got in a regular Pokeball, and Skitty I just caught. Neither of them I'm going to be using on my team because Abra I won't be able to fully evolve, and Skitty is just not good, but... Yeah, I just caught them because of the sake of catching them. So... Next up, I'm just gonna backtrack to you know where. That's right, I am always welcome here. I've been developing an added feature in terms of great Zach may see the Pokemon I have. Here you go, Zach. I have a new feature called Match Call. Using Match Call, you can chat with people you've registered in your Pokemon app. Don't worry. Match Call. Oh, Zach, since you called me the Pokemon, I must be working properly. Alright, so... Sure. Alright, so now we have that registered in there. I think it's time we finally... Oh. May. Right. Looks like we're not getting off the hook quite so easily yet again. Um, I want to kind of... I guess we'll talk to May. Register so we can contact. Register in May in the Pokemon Nav. Home to his cottage in the sea. How's your Pokedex coming along, Zach? Mine's looking pretty decent. How about a little battle? Sure. I think this is the only optional time you have against May, but I'm in this for the experience, really. So, and she uses a Wingle, and her levels are pretty high. Um, I don't trust being doubly weak here. I'm gonna send in Marsh Tomp here. Like I said, I have a nickname planned for Marsh Tomp already, and I think a very fitting nickname if you hear my story about it, but... Um... Yeah, I still do want nickname suggestions for Inkata, who will eventually evolve into something that I probably said and whatnot, but... Whatever. I am gonna be recording a lot of this game if you haven't been able to tell already. Just because I need to, because PAX is in a week, and I need episodes till at least next Monday. Ooh, wing attack. Yeah, good thing I switched out and didn't bother sending in, um... Anyone else, really, other than this, because everyone else would have just gotten destroyed to wing attack, so... Trico! Who would definitely have a grass-type move by this point, but... I also want to get Beautifly up in the levels so he'll learn Gust, but... I don't know... I don't know when that's gonna be, and I don't... Alright. Ooh. Well, Nikata's a fairly defensive Pokemon, so... This will do a fairly high amount of damage, but it is a much higher level than I am, so... Hound. Yup! Yeah, really? You had to get a critical hit there? Oh my god. Well, here's a bit of fun trivia for you. That actually wouldn't have been a critical with the, um... 
with a um, Leer on as well, it would have just been what a regular critical was, because as of Gen 3, critical hits and... Critical hits didn't actually affect the, um... Wait, 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 wait. Oh, God. Can this actually finish it off? Please finish it. Please finish it. It should be able to do just this now. Yes! Ninkata, you are a best. Um... Critical hits, they weren't dependent on, like... They didn't, like, stack with your, um... Like, things and whatnot. It's hard to describe. Oh, by the way, Mr. Brownie, who I just passed, Zach, he moved... You just moved here, so you might not know this. Mr. Brandy was such a seafarer. Well, what's the point of... Like, what good is that telling me? Okay, then. Um, I want to buy some Pokeballs now that they're actually for sale. Because if you buy 10 Pokeballs, you actually get a Premier Ball as well. So I'm going to be taking this, that many Pokeballs, and a Premier Ball. And you can actually buy Super Potions already. That's not bad. I think my Marsh Chomp might have more than 50 HP. Uh, no, 49, wow. Close enough, but... Now, I don't expect any of the battles from Petalburg and earlier to give me that much more trouble, but... Um, there's a thing on this route and a thing in Petalburg Woods that I need to get with Cut. And then I'm gonna be depositing everyone else, basically, back in the PC, as unfortunate as it is. I know, short-lived while it was, but... Really, what else are you going to do about it? And... Yeah, here's the other thing that I wanted to check out. I don't... I think this is just for a few items, but... Might as well head over here. Or... Oh! Miracle Seed! That's a really nice item. I might give that to, um... Beautifly for now, just because that'll boost... That boosts the power of Grass-type moves, so... Since Beautifully knows Absorb, I'll teach that for now. Or, um, I'll give that to it for now. Uh, this is the first example of a hold item that, like, you can just give a Pokemon and it'll boost the power of a move, basically. Great ball, not too bad. Um, I don't know if there's anything else over this way. Um, there is. I don't remember this section of Petalburg Woods much at all, really. And we found another Whirlpool. I'm just gonna run away from this, just in case this thing knows. Um, Poison Sting, which I think it would. Yeah, it would, because... I had Poison Sting before I evolved into Silcoon, so that definitely would have known that. Okay, finally through all that. Back to Route 104. Oh, Don Nash, wait up, Pico. Hmm, Zach, you say, my darling Pico, we owe you so much to you. What's that? You want to stay with me? Hmm. You have a letter bound for Duford and support quite busy. It certainly is. You're asking no problem at all. You come to the right man. It's, it's, let's sail for Duford. Echoes away, Pico. We're sailing my. No, I didn't even read his dialogue well much there. What? Oh, Zach, where are you now? It sounds windy wherever you are. Just heard from Devin's Mr. Stone about your Poké nap, so I decided to give you a call. It sounds like you're doing fine, so that's fine with me. You take care now. I just heard Dad Norman in the Poké nap. Not bad. So we're just going to be sailing all the way around here. And we arrive in... Duford Island, so... No, I don't want to go there. I would like to deliver the letter. Um, it's kind of a hard decision for me at this point because I'm not gonna lie, I'm extremely underleveled at this point in the game. Uh, there is a really, really difficult battle here in Duford for this early in the game, and I'm not gonna use. HM Bud for much more of the game. Or any of these Pokemon, really. And it's just, there's such a difficult battle here in this gym, and I am so underleveled for it. I want to get Beautifly at least to level 15. That's the level I want to get her to. 
and the rest of my Pokemon really that level, like that level at least. I know Marshtomp is 16, but level 15 to me sounds like it would be a pretty good level. So, yeah, that's... Oh, great, no, this crap again. I knew it was gonna do that, god dang it. Alright, I'm just gonna meet you guys here in a second whenever, like, anything of significance happens, really, because I'm... There's a cave around here, but I don't think the Pokemon here are that high-leveled, so maybe they are. Maybe they might be decent for some experience, but I'm not really too sure, so... Confusion, really, not what I wanted. Knew it! Confusion's a status where it can stack with other statuses and it also, like, makes it so that you have a 50% chance of, like, hurting yourself. So combine that with paralysis, and oh god, this is gonna kill Beautifly if I- okay, good. This is gonna heal a lot, I think. Oh, what? Oh, that's right, this thing is a special tank. Well, this experience distribution is not going to be even at all, and I'm not going to get anything. Well, let's use our new move, Mud Shot! OHKO, no question. Super effective, physical power on a special wall, and just, oh, that's so relieving to get that in there. I'll worry. Okay, back out. There's actually an item in Doofer Town that I would like to get, and I don't remember who gives it to you. Is it you? No, there's a girl somewhere around Slayport that gives me a really nice item. I'm gonna try and get it. I don't think that there's anything here. Nope. Um, actually, is it you? Yes, alright, this is the item I wanted to get, Silk Scarf. This is an item that, like, is basically the same as the Miracle Seed, but for normal types. So, I'm gonna give that to Ninkata because, uh, really just scratch at this point, but some of Ninkata's best moves are actually, um, normal type moves once it evolves, so that's not a problem there. Um, uh, oh! Wow, there's a Pokeball there. I didn't actually know that was there. Anyways, here's the cave I was telling you guys about that has a really nice, like, spot for training in it. Or, like, it's just an okay spot for training in. If you catch a certain Pokemon in it, then this battle's actually laughably easy, but... Yeah, I'm just gonna speed this up, because this is just gonna be Magikarp, I bet. Okay, two Magikarp and registered Fisherman Elliot. Okay, now, thing about this cave... I think this... Yeah, this guy gives you the HM for Flash, which we can't yet use yet. And this cave is extremely dark. Now, I think... You also get an escape rope here for helping you leave the place as well, which is not bad. I'm gonna level grind in this cave to everyone at least level 15. Because there's an okay amount of wild Pokemon in this area. And after I'm finished level grinding... Oh, this is gonna be annoying with Supersonic. Like, it's basically gonna be an off-screen level grind, and then... I'll begin the next episode off, ready to fight the gym in through for town, so... Plus, there's gonna be some good trainers in there, too, which will give good experience. So, yeah. Experience here is gonna be kinda slow, but we'll just wait here and see. 